Hey guys, welcome back to Gav Talks Tech. Um, just gonna answer a couple questions right away, just get them out of the way. No, I don't normally dress up uh, when I'm working at my home office. Yes, these are, uh, these are fake glasses. I wear them so that I can look smarter. You know, the blue light glasses are kind of the, the new trend. Uh, so always wanted to wear glasses even though my uh, vision Never, uh, never allowed me to. Yes, I moved to Bozeman, Montana for the winter. Uh, this is my office. I'm actually renting from a friend of mine. Um, I'm renting, you know, basically the basement of a, of a bigger house that he's been living at for a few years. It's been my dream to uh, be able to have a season pass at Big Sky. I've always wanted to do it. And the COVID-19 crisis actually has allowed me to make that dream a reality. Uh, remote work has become more possible. Um, I'm traveling a lot less. Unfortunately, not able to see my clients as much, uh, but I do get to ride this little guy over here um, and really looking forward to a, a great season at Big Sky. But uh, let's uh, let's dive right in here. Um, I wanted to do a little story time. Uh, story time, Gab Talks Tech uh, kind of deal. And uh, what we're talking about today is eSports. Um, I personally thought that our sales director, Anna Hansen, was crazy when she said, we're going to start an esports line and people are going to work with us because uh, we work so closely with schools, colleges um, for custom PC hardware. Uh, I've never been a gamer myself, um, but I've started to get exposed to PC gaming when I started to work at Bytespeed. Um, we've actually had a gaming lounge at Bytespeed for the last five years of our own custom hardware. Really, really sweet space. Check the picture out. Anyways, uh, so one of the first schools we started to work with was the uh, University of North Dakota, Jamestown. Um, pretty interesting that, uh, pretty interesting and innovative that a school in, you know, kind of central North Dakota would be such a, a pioneer in the esports realm in North Dakota and really at the time across the nation. Um, so we got connected with them as a partner um, for the esports hardware, uh, the desks, chairs, monitors, peripherals. Uh, we were able to provide those specific needs for uh, Jamestown Esports. And getting connected with um, the technology director, Chris Hoke, who's been a great partner with us. Um, their team is growing. It's awesome to see the path that they're on. And also Josh Knudsen, who's the former esports coach for the University of Jamestown Jimmy's esports team. Um, getting to work with them had been an awesome experience. Um, and Josh actually joined our team at Bytespeed as the eSports uh, director uh, and also director of virtual reality at Bytespeed um, or Gravity Gaming, you could say. Um, so a couple things is Gravity Gaming, sometimes it gets confusing. Gravity Gaming is part of Bytespeed, uh, but specifically that branding, uh, those, those uh, hardware components, those pieces, those are, um, those are branded for that reason. Excuse me, I'm babbling at this point. Uh, Jake can cut around the, the blah, blah, blah. but uh, anyway, so um, that is why we've been able to be such a great partner to schools uh, and colleges is we actually have somebody who knows the collegiate esports realm and is heavily connected uh, with esports both in high school and college across the nation and the passion that our team has for esports um, Josh, Jesse, Henry, the entire Gravity Gaming team um, has been able to provide a lot of value to the schools that are um, taking the jump and finally giving those students what they want, which is to start an esports team. Um, so it's been really, really exciting to see that. Um, specifically, I cover Minnesota, North Dakota, Wyoming, and Alaska. Um, there's esports teams taking off, but North Dakota has been really, really impressive with the amount of teams that schools have started both in college and higher ed. I actually have a list um, here, and I think I have 10 North Dakota schools that we've worked with that are using Bytespeed, Gravity Gaming, computer hardware, and I think close to 10 colleges in the state. University of Jamestown, University of North Dakota, Dickinson State University, um, schools like Mandan, West Fargo, Fargo, Central Cass, Northern Cass, the list goes on and on. Um, and it's, it's great that we're a local partner, but we really can provide that same value to organizations across the nation. Um, there's schools in 
Now Laramie County Community College in Wyoming, a longtime customer of Bite Speeds, uh, Platte County School District starting up a team in Wyoming. Um, and I could, I could list references all day long, um, but wanted to talk today about eSports, an awesome um, uh, innovation that a lot of schools are doing. And uh, we're, we're thrilled to be a part of the, the process of deploying that hardware, helping build up the team, helping consult on schools getting started competing and all of those pieces. So I wanted to say we're really grateful for Josh Knutson on our team. We're grateful for one of our first partners, University of Jamestown. And, uh, and we're grateful for all the organizations that choose to work with us for eSports hardware. And uh, stay tuned for the next Gap Talks Tech. We appreciate you watching. And uh, please comment or uh, shoot me an email with any feedback. I'd love to hear your jokes. So please, if I'm not making fun of myself enough, please help me.